Afternoon Aviva MK, thank you for joining me once again for our weekly update here live on Facebook. Now of course every week there's news to tell you, everything there's every week there's often things that I need to reveal to you, sometimes I do them by accident and sometimes I do them deliberately but it's always fantastic to catch up with you. Why? Because it gives us this chance to interact because I can't see every one of you every single day so it gives us this brilliant chance to interact and it just gives me an opportunity A to make a fool of myself and B most importantly to give you any information of anything that's happening within the organization because because like I've always said, this is your organization. I want to stay as transparent as humanely possible to always tell you all the things that I possibly can that you can in an organization. Of course, there are times when you can't discuss things because they're commercially sensitive. And of course, as you well and truly know, there are people that watch us just because they believe they are competition. Hey, but you and I know that because we are stronger together, because the way we are, we have no real competition. And I have always said to you, I don't compete with anybody. I compete with myself to make sure that I am better than I was before. And that's the only competition. That's difficult enough as it is, let alone try and compete with other brands and other companies that believe they are competition, but they're not. So the first thing I really want to talk about, because many of you have mentioned it, or a few of you have mentioned it, is the out of stock situation. Now, there are times when things go out of stock because they sell so fast and we replenish those as quick as they go out of stock. Some things have a longer lead time, sometimes they're shorter. Even as we speak currently, we're 96% of items completely in stock. At times that hits 100%, not a number I've ever known before in any organization, and sometimes it'll dip. But the idea is, is to try and replenish as fast as possible. Now, you know as well as I do, you cannot stock a warehouse with a million of each product in the hope that it sells. It's the downfall of many organizations like ours where they overbuy and then they get stuck with things because anything stuck in a static state in your warehouse is a financial liability and we cannot afford financial liabilities, no organization can. So sometimes you buy smaller quantities in order that they will sell them, try and replenish them very quick and that's how we work. And of course our business remains very unpredictable. Any catalog driven business, is very, very unpredictable. You never know how your customers are going to react, how much they're going to buy, how much the catalog is going to be worth, how much any individual item will sell. You never ever know that and you cannot predict that. You can try to predict that with forecasting, but it's very rarely you'll hit it on the head. So yes, there'll be times things go out of stock, but the idea is always to replenish them as fast as possible. And we will never, ever, ever just stock millions of every single item because it's not financially viable to ever do that. Not just in this organization, but in no organization. It just doesn't work. So when there is something out, obviously always bear with us and we'll try and get it back as fast as possible because I know what it's like to be disheartened with outer stocks. You know, I came from an organization where outer stocks were a huge, huge challenge, especially towards the end. And I know how disheartening it is for distributors, for customers, for a company. It's just, it's just not workable. So the idea is to quickly replenish as fast as possible. So I just wanted to tackle that front on with you. And that's the reason you just cannot go and buy thousands of something in the hope that it might just sell. You have to just do quick replenishment. Um, numbers in general are still growing, of course, as, as I've said to you before, we have a good engagement in the business. We have, you know, in network marketing in general, it's about a quarter of uh, all people who are in the business are engaged at any one time. Ours generally is higher than that, which is very, very good. It's good for our business, it's good for our brand. Um, so where numbers are concerned, intermittently, I will give you summaries, but I kind of gave you one last week. So I'll give you one probably every two months of where the business actually is. And I'll tell you exactly how it is, where it is, and what how it's performing. 
Um, as far as the showcase is concerned, of course, the numbers are increasing still. I hit my target, like I keep telling you every single week, I hit my target to 500 and I'm happy with that, but the numbers are still increasing. So if you haven't got your ticket and you want to be there on the 24th of February, then you really should be there because it's going to be a celebration of the business, a celebration of what we have collectively achieved and a celebration of the strategy going forward, which is something I really want to share with everybody. You know, the idea and concept of the business, we're seven months in, where do we go now? What happens next? What do we do as we hit that first year? What do we do on a second, third, fourth and fifth year? There will be a five year plan that I want to share with you as much as possible. So not only are you engaged in the business, but you know it's not ever going to just stand still and let it happen. No, that's never going to be the case. There's always going to be a progress plan to go forward. Um, I've alluded to um, the strategy plan before, but I'll talk more about that at the showcase. So we're about two and a half weeks away from the first ever um, company event that we have ever held. Um, and as I said to you last week, we're very excited about it, very nervous about it. Um, I know it's going to be a tremendous event partly because of the people that are going to be within the room. Of course, everybody can't make it, but the people in the room and the people that are present in the business are responsible for putting the business where it is today. There'll be people from head office that are responsible for that fact. There'll be people in the audience that are responsible for that fact. I've seen some of the presentations that our illustrious speakers are putting together um, and I've seen the first drafts of those and they're absolutely brilliant. True life stories of where people have come from, what they're doing now and where they hope to go with coaching, training and inspiration. Everything you can expect from a showcase of this type, but particularly more because it's our first. It's our biggest, it's our first and it's probably the most important event I've ever had the pleasure to host in my entire life. And I don't think it'll ever be beat because the first one always is the most important. I've never been at the inception of an organization. So I look forward to seeing you on the 24th. Now, the biggest point of today is health and beauty. That's in full production. And in a moment, I'm gonna show you some of the pages from that to give you a feel of what it's going to look like. Now, as you know, every single attendee at the showcase will get a pack of 50 health and beauty catalogs on the day to take away. Of course, there'll be more to be, you can buy more after that, but on the day, which will be the first official launch of that book, and the, the event will be treated like a book launch as well, where you will get the first real full visual of that and have the ability to take it away. So in a moment, I'll show you some of the pages, not so much to demonstrate the products, but to show you the kind of new, fresh layout, which shows an element of evolution in the business. You know, you can never stand still, you can never go backwards, you evolve all the time. And in my humble opinion, the, the brand and the book have evolved massively, as you will see in a moment. As you know, the first beauty book was all kind of makeup um, and that makeup did very very well and it, it, it was a very promising brand for us so from that we expanded from not just beauty but to health and beauty to widen the range give you far more products and far more viability in the marketplace so just to give you an idea of layout and the way it's going to look there is a typical page from um, the new health and beauty book which as I say you will see for the first time ever on the 24th of February when it's complete. But that gives you an idea of the vibrancy, of the colour behind it, and the kind of effect we're trying to achieve. Now, if you go back just a few months, you can see how much progress there has been in the design work and the effect that we're trying to achieve. So that's one typical page. So that, and that's, that's, of course, beauty. And if we progress on the beauty point of view, you know, you can see... The, the, the pages are just coming out, they're hitting the customers, there's great descriptions and great product pictures as well. In order to really sell the brand and make it our own. Um, 
Health and beauty is never an easy market to go into. I should know. I've been in makeup all my life. But, you know, it's never an, an easy thing to do. But with such a motivated, inspired network, I personally think this is total evolution where catalogs are concerned. So that's another typical page of what the health and beauty is going to look at. But of course, it's not all about makeup, which is why we went from beauty to health and beauty. Have a look at these kind of products as well. Again, more importantly is the layout and the fresh look of the page. That's what I want you to really look at more than anything else. It's the actual look of what we're trying to do and what we're trying to sell. Make it come out from the page, show people what it is and entice them into buying it. And of course, these will be great online type products as well. And I'll talk to you about online in a moment. But that, that again is another typical page showing that vibrancy and that projection from the page. Um, again, you know, um, another example of what, what pages are going to look like. And remember, this is just health and beauty. You know, as time goes by, all of our catalogs will start taking this format. If you think that we launched with a catalog which has 67 chemicals in it, we went from that in July up to this now, which is going to be out in about two weeks time. But again, to show you the fresh, very, very fresh um, display the very great the, the you know the, the pictures that project themselves but uh, again you know typical typical page from there but again it's about the color it's about the color coming out and looking attractive and uh, the actual range of products in there as well and I'll show you some of them to actually what they look like physically because I've snaffled some of them from a head office so I can show them to you so again you know a very typical page in the catalog um, but it doesn't stop there, you know, I've, I've got a few. That, this is the last one. Again, more importantly, just to show you layout. And layout is so important in marketing. And like I said to you, we're evolving with that. We're growing with it from where we've come and you've joined me on that journey and we continue to go. And seven, eight months in, we're at this stage now and all of our catalogs will start taking that brand look. Because what we have to do is create brand awareness. Because because nobody knows who we are. Well, they're gradually getting to know, but nobody knew who we are. They all knew the clean easies and the better wares of the world, but we had to go in there, create something brand new um, from that legacy. And, and this is where we're getting to. But after only seven months, that's where we are. And if you look at some of the products, they are very, very nice looking products. This is an oatmeal bathing milk, apparently. Soak and soothe your skin and muscles. We'll have to get some of those first with this creamy bath milk. Sounds delightful, but that's the kind of packaging. That's the kind of product. But, you know, there's quite a range of things in there. You know, I obviously don't have one of those, but say thistle and black pepper beard oil. Apparently beard oils are very popular especially for the ladies. So, you know, things like that are, you know, are selling. Um, but again, what I really want you to concentrate on is packaging, because packaging is so important in the health and beauty business, that things look good. And it's amazing that people will pay more because things look good as opposed to the product that is selling. So this is a coconut and lime, that reminds me of a song, Coconut and Lime Hand and Nail Cream. And again, the packaging is really fantastic. It's got a, a kind of a metallic feel in there and, and it's all very, very attractive. And th those are the kind of things that the Health and Beauty book, as well as the basics, is going to have in it. There's going to be quite a number of products. Um, we have a Sea Kelp Body Butter for moisturizing, I do believe. So a sea, sea kelp body butter. Again, lovely coloring and packaging. Um, and then we have a selection of um, sea kelp and Olay body butters. Um, I don't really know what people do with body butters, and I'm sure your customers will be fully aware what to do with them. But again, it's the packaging I really want you to look at. That is so sellable, you know, such nice solid bottles, such full cr creaminess in there. And oh, and it smells so lovely. 
Um, so, you know, all these are important because, it's, again, it's a new departure for us. It's something that we've not ever done before. It's something that we've never even experimented with. So it's a big departure for us, but I think everyday products that I think will have great saleability. But of course it doesn't stop there. Where packaging is a concern, we have, you know, wonderful items like this. This is a milk bath powder. Now I really don't know what you would do with a milk bath powder, but it's, it's the packaging that's again, so nice and it's so sellable. Um, and in there we have a big white bag of white powder. Um, and I'm assuming that's some kind of milk product that you stick in your bath, but, and it smells absolutely delightful. Again, you know, the, the whole point of showing you these things is because it's just a new departure, it's evolution, it's where I promised the business would be heading, that we'll be introducing new brands, that we'll be experimenting with new things, even going as far as a hair shark pro back comber, a two-in-one back combing hair tool. And that's that. Um, and then, you know, a peel off tea tree, tree, a peel off tea tree oil, you try and say it, a peel off tea tree oil mask. I'm assuming that's some kind of face mask. Um, so again, you know, it's just a very small selection of what's going to be coming your way. But more importantly, it's that kind of evolution that I keep talking about that is so important in our kind of business. Like I said to you, you know, if you join me on this journey, it's only been a handful of months. We're already expanding. We're already growing. We have a strategy that will be cast over five years. And every single month, we're making some kind of progress because we can. You know, we listen to some of your suggestions. We can't always partake in all of them, can't take all of them on board, but we do listen as much as possible. And the great thing about a company this size, because we're quite small, this size and of, of this structure is that we can take people's opinions and ideas on board. And we've done that with many things. Like I alluded to last week, you know, your whole back office will have a new look and feel to it as well. We've taken all of that on board. We had the first one. Yes, it has some cumbersome things in it and we've eradicated a lot of those and we'll be launching a brand new one which will give you even more flexibility and adaptability in the back office of your business. And again, the great thing is something that I've never been aware of before is that how quickly you can make these changes and you can really adapt. Now I've worked some very very big organizations and sometimes it takes six months to a year if at all to make strategic changes in the plan in the products and in the back offices and things and sometimes you just can't do it because the organization is so big and inflexible and so you know fitted in already but with our kind of business where the jigsaw pieces have hardly fallen into place yet every week we add a new piece that jigsaw as we continue to grow you'll see that at the showcase you'll see that with this great product range you'll see that in the evolution of the pages you'll even see that with simple straightforward everyday things like outer stocks and how quickly we try and replenish that because we're small enough yet to be able to do that. But I guess my goal is the day that we're not small and the day that we do continue to grow and get bigger than ever before, we'll try and keep that ethos in place because we've grown up with it. We haven't inherited this business. We've built it from bugger all. We've built it from nothing. We built from the faith that you had and the expertise you had in other networks. And we came together and made something new, which means we have been constructing it as we're going along. Take it as one big huge jigsaw puzzle as each piece goes in the picture becomes clearer and that's what we've been doing every now and again we lose a piece or somebody tries to stuff a piece in where it doesn't belong um that story of my life but the the, the point still is that the the construction of the jigsaw piece goes on and on and on and every day more of the blue sky of that piece is being created so i guess 
I just wanted to demonstrate that, um, give you an update on how things are already happening and how they're progressing. That catalog is fully on track to be able to deliver it to you at the conference. And those are some of the first few pages that are going to print, but just a few of them, there's so many more. Um, so I look forward to revealing the full extent of that catalog and the catalog plan for the future. And as ever, of course, you know, none of this is possible without all the people that put in the effort at head office and all the effort and encouragement that you people give. Somebody asked me yesterday, how do you carry on you know, against the adversity? Because there's always adversity. How do you carry on? How do you carry on doing these things? Do you know, it's simple. Because when there's encouragement, anything is possible. With encouragement and support, everything is possible, which kind of is the ethos of network marketing, that you encourage and support people to achieve something with their businesses and their lives. That's what we do in network marketing. And the company is no more than a projection of that image, is that you, you just you're infused and you're encouraged and you're supported to just keep going. So even when you have, you know, awful days, I have them, I have them all the time. You know, it's the encouragement and support that gets us through. And that was my answer yesterday. It is no more than that, plus seeing people succeed. You know, if I see anybody who's had any success with any single catalogue, that is such a strike of goodness for the company that they've been able to do that with our little brand. So thank you for listening once again. You know, our little brand continues to grow. Um, our business has only just begun. You know, we're still months away from even concluding our first full year. Goodness knows what those celebrations are going to be like and goodness know how far we will evolve in that first year. Remember some of those so-called competitors, and I don't call them competition but they do, um, they've been around for decades and decades and decades and they're worth billions and billions. To me, do you know, that's not really competition. We may well be a thorn in their side, but hey, that's what I'm here for, to be a thorn in the side of corporate industry and do it in the way that we want to do it with the true people on our side. Thank you for listening once again. We couldn't do it without you and I always look forward to catching up with you. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.